What's up guys, Jake Sully's been Blue Collar Outdoors and today we're talking two products from Dive Bomb that have been amazing for us a few. Stay tuned. All right guys, so right here you can see we have the Dive Bomb dry shell pouches. Now they can fit uh, up to 50 shells in there is what they say. Whoa fell over, attacked the table. Um, I've had one of them, I carry my 28 gauge in, I believe it's the green one is, yeah. So 28 gauge, you know, I got in the green, I think I got two or three boxes in this, so about 75 shells. And uh, you can see I can still roll it down enough to, to get a successful dry lock. It's a really easy design. It's really effective. You have a loop here you could hang on a branch if you're hunting flooded timber. You got a hook here you could put a carabiner on. You have a carabiner, put it to your blind bag. Now, we've tested these. Moose has them, Hawk has them. I have two. Like I said, I got this is the 12 gauge pouch. Uh, this is the 28 gauge. And it's kind of nice because we have a hat to match. And uh, another hat here to match that as well. That's kind of why I got those hat colors. They're perfect for waterfowl mainly. Anyways, you have RF welded seams and bar tacked stress points. That'll give you longevity and durability in the product. So you can just, you know how it is when you're waterfowl hunting. Your, your gear takes it, it gets beat on. There's, you can try to baby it, but it's gonna get beat on. So it's essentially a dry lock from the roll top. So all you do is just Get that there. I like squeezing this. Get all that air out just like you're preparing your meat when you're putting it in the freezer. And then just kind of roll it down. I usually do two or three. Keep it in line. Tuck it. There you go. And you're golden. And we've been hunting flooded timber with this. Flooded rivers, flooded ponds, swamps. Uh, actually my 28 gauge kind of took a dive and uh, went in just like this. I got it. And it was completely, I mean, the outside was soaked, it was all muddy, but the inside, not one single shell was ruined. Now guys, when using these, what we do, I never liked hanging it with the carabiner off the blind bag, because a lot of times we're going in with a couple decoys and we're hunting flooded timber. The last couple hunts was a tiny creek because everything was froze up. It was like minus 40 with the wind chill, so she was cold, but we would just take one of these and I just took and put it on a branch like that. Had this open so I could just grab in if I needed to. And uh, I will say if, if you have it open and you get moisture in there, I highly recommend when you get home, I mean this is kind of common sense, when you get home, open it up like that and then hang it somewhere. I was hanging it upside down it just depends. That way your shells don't hold that moisture and you clamp it down on them. It's not good for the shells. Other than that, for $25, this thing is absolutely awesome. We've used them goose hunting. We've used them duck hunting. We've used them all season. And uh, they've been lights out. And like I said, I have a couple different ones because I like to hunt with the 12 gauge. Then I'll take the 28. And this way... I have, if I'm going 28, I grab this. If I'm going 12 gauge, I grab this. Next year, I'll probably get the other color they have and uh, have that for 20 gauge. Um, that way I can, you know, depending on what we're hunting, where we're hunting, I can decide. And four tens, I'd, I don't need one because I'm just shooting straight TSS. Probably going to be real selective and uh, probably do <laughs> box of shells and I'll probably be good. So, but... These dive bomb drive shell uh, pouches are absolutely awesome. The hardest part about getting anything dive bomb is to buy them when they're in stock. If you have a chance and you've been on the edge, I can just tell you from our standpoint, these are well worth the money. They're really good products. Um, not everything dive bomb makes we love, but this right here fits the bill perfectly, especially flooded timber hunts or you know, just getting rid of that the box of shells. The best part about these things right here is you can get rid of the shells, the boxes of shells. You don't realize how much of a burden it is to carry boxes of shells until you got one of these. 
because I remember Moose was telling me he was going to pick some of these up or something like this before Dive Bomb came out. He ended up going with Dive Bomb. Uh, he he told me he wanted to get rid of the box of shells, and I just told him, I'm like, why? I mean, my blind bag, my Tangle Free, I have two box of shells I can put right there, and then in, inside the blind bag as well. But once I got these, man, I understand. Because, yeah, my, my Tangle Free can hold two boxes, but when those boxes get wet, and you go to grab a box, and you're in the middle of the fray, I mean, you're shooting geese, you're shooting ducks, or whatever you're doing, and you grab a box, and the whole bottom falls out, and you're blind, or in a swamp, or you realize really quick how awesome these are. So, a lot of things, like a lot of things in life, you don't realize how, how much you really, really like something until till you don't have it. And I've had hunts where I forgot these, went the box route, and I ain't going back. Drop your comments below. Let me know what brands you trust to hold your shells afield. If you use the box in a blind bag, if you use some sort of pouch or etc. Just drop your comments, all things waterfowl. We're going to be doing a lot more gear-based reviews and testing for waterfowl like we do for turkeys. So I'm pretty eager for that as well. But guys, these dive bomb dry shell pouches, they're well worth the money. I love them. I'm going to pick one more up so I can have 28 gauge, 12, and 20 color coordinated. So when I grab my 28 gauge, I just grab this, etc. It's just nice. But I can honestly say these, they knocked it out of the park. Guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. As always, smash thumbs up button for your boys. Subscribe down below. Check out the merch. We got it under every video. It, you can customize those however you want. Or we do have available, uh, not much, but some of the limited edition. You know, you got your khaki and coffee, matches their otter brown. And then we have the olive and black. So it doesn't matter how you hunt, what you hunt, these hats are perfect. Limited edition run, you order those through me. So message me if you want those. Guys, we got a lot more to film yet. So as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Eager to see what you guys use to take your shells afield. Take her easy.